All right. Uh, I wanted to go over a subject here that is sort of something that that I that I kind of see as like, hang on. Hmm. All right. Uh, sometimes I kind of I I, I I read you know various articles and news stories, things like that. You know, getting material to to put in the videos here to cover. And I kind of kind of notice sort of underlying themes with a lot of sort of across the board kind of themes with a lot of them. Uh, a lot of the the moves that are being made by by the White House and the administration, GOP. And this one that I've noticed is uh sort of like it's like it, it it's like, okay, here's the thing I've noticed, is that a lot of times, when, whenever they, uh, whenever like Paul Ryan or someone in, in particular, or really the GOP in general, whenever they try to justify some kind of really bad idea, a, a big thing that they like to talk about, it, or like to mention, is that Oh well, they're doing it because it's a states' rights issue. Oh, we we want to get the federal government, the evil federal government, out of out of the states' way and let let them do what what's best for them. You know, let turn the turn control take control away from the the evil federal government and give it to the state and local governments. Uh. You know, and and so it's like they, like they always kind of use things like that. You know, so turns turn control, you know, remove the federal government from the from the picture and turn control over to state and local governments. You know, they they also like to try to throw in choice, like the their little their code for deregulation. Oh, we're gonna provide people choice. People need choice, like with healthcare. Like, oh, people need choices with their doctors. No, they need fucking coverage is what they need. Choice, honestly, choice is a close second. Choice would be nice, but I would rather be told, you go see this doctor, and that's who you see, instead of, you can see any doctor you want, as long as you can pay a couple hundred dollars a visit. But anyway, most of the time, they're used to just sort of like, almost like, like code word, like I said, code words for, for deregulation. What they mean by turning it, you know, either they don't basically, you know, they just like, okay, well, we don't want to do anything with it. So we're just going to get rid of the control or the, the influence that the federal government has eh, and just hand, hand toss this little hot potato off to the states. So, you know, it's used for different purposes like that. You know, they, they don't they don't want to deal with it's just something they don't want to deal with uh, depending on the issue. Like, for instance, the whole marijuana versus uh, trans students' bathroom protections at schools. You know, with the schools and the, the transgender kids going to the bathroom, oh, that's that's the state's issue. We're going to let the states decide. But when it's, uh, you know, marijuana, oh, well, we have federal laws for a reason, and they need to be respected. So that's one one way they they use it to just kind of kick that can down the road like, "Eh, we don't want to deal with this. Here you go." But here's the the issue I've considered that I that I think is is a more more troubling than simply they just don't want to deal with it or they're a bunch of lying hypocrites. I keep hitting I have got to learn about that. And that is that it is easier it's easier to take on a state than the federal government. For example, uh, like take California, for instance. Uh, California passes much more restrictive uh, firearms laws or gun control laws than the rest of the country. And in a response to that, there are a, a number of, of firearm manufacturers who refuse to sell to the California government because because they basically they want they want better sales so they want everyone in the state to be able to buy weapons from them or weapons accessories from them 
And so basically they've got this saying like, oh, if you're in the, sorry, but if you're in the state of California, you know, we, you know, the overreaching liberal government has forbid you from uh, owning our fine products. And, you know, until they do, we, we won't sell to the government of California. And this is, it's a marketing ploy. They're trying to freeze them out. They're trying to like, like, oh, well, if you want our product, you're going to have to let everyone get it. Anyway, for the most part, for uh, California doesn't really seem to give a shit. Like they're they're okay with keeping their laws the way they are. But it's a similar concept. You know, it's, that's not really a particularly effective example, but it's a similar concept to what could be done elsewhere. So, if you like, for instance, if you have a state that wants to ban fracking, well, that state. They can do it, but then the oil companies can either tie them, drag them through court and sue them for, and take up a lot of resources, take up millions of dollars and years in, of litigation, or they can say, oh, hey, we're just going to, okay, fine, we're just going to pull out of your, you know, we're going to pull everything we got out of your state and all those jobs going to be lost. And, you know, they can, they can help, they can manipulate, uh, state elections more, more easily. I mean, honestly, it's, it costs less to buy a state government than it does the federal government. So basically, that's what it does. It, you, you make these, like, like for instance, uh, there's actually a town in, in Texas. It was the, the city of Denton, Texas, actually banned fracking within the city. Well, the oil companies and the state went after the city and ended up overturning the the ruling the ban because i mean it was it was a town it was one town in the state like they couldn't afford the 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 millions of the hundreds of thousands maybe millions of dollars it would have cost to to defend it so they had to drop it and that is why i i feel that is a potential cause like one of the the sort of underlying like reasons why they there's this, always this push with republicans of Oh, let the state. Oh, turn control over to the states. Turn every. Let the states do everything. Because as I said, the states are easy to buy. You can buy off a state government, per, you know, for less money. You can exert a major corporation can exert much more influence over a state than it can the entire gov the entire federal government. Uh, and it just it makes it easier for these people to skirt laws and to to do bad things uh, like for instance the environment you know another thing that happens is you have interstate like, issues like for example uh, say a, a company is polluting a river all right and immediately downstream in that river is a state line that goes into another state that that they don't like that pollution flowing into their into their state but they don't really have any direct authority they can't go because that, that company's not operating in their state. So for them to be able to go after that, that company, there's, you know, they'd either need the other state's assistance or they would need help from the federal government. So when you have, an, like, say, the EPA that implements environmental protection laws nationwide, then it, doesn't, then, then it makes it easier to enforce them. Because you can't say, like, oh, well, the, the company's not in your state. You don't have any authority over them. Well, the federal government does. And that is why we need federal control over a number of things. Uh, and, yeah, there are certain things that I guess could be... I don't know, me personally, I've never been a huge fan of states' rights in too many aspects. Because more often than not, when states' rights is used, it's usually for something shitty. Like voter suppression or... I don't know, like the anti, like Texas's anti dildo law, it's a thing. I'll post a link. It's just shit like that, and it's just like, so majority of the I can see its purpose, but the majority of time, at least in recent history, that it's been brought up or used, it's usually to to screw over the citizens because again, the the freaking state government's even more bought off than the than the federal. <sighs> So, I mean, that's my opinion on it. You know, you make, a, you make your own conclusions, but that's what I see as being a, a big 
a big concerning thing, a big concern with, uh, with that, that, uh, that doctrine or that ethos, doctrine, whatever. Those principles of like this whole, oh, push it to the states. Oh, the states need to be taken care of this, not the overreaching federal government. That's why. I mean, they don't give a fuck about states' rights. They just want to make, a, instead of dealing with one, they just want it so that their donors and their, their, their friggin' ma- corporate masters can more easily control smaller, weaker go- state governments and don't have to take on the federal government. So, anyway... Uh, that's it for this one. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time.